Denmark's Prince Christian, the second in line to the throne, is getting a fresh start to his education. Crown Prince Frederick and Princess Mary's eldest child will attend a new school, following allegations of sexual abuse and bullying at Curliffe's Holm Boarding School, where he attended. The 16-year-old is set to begin studying at Ordrup Gymnasium High School in Gentift, while his sister Princess Isabella, 15, who was initially supposed to join her brother at Curliffe's Holm, has been enrolled at Ingra Jespersen's High School in Copenhagen, the Danish Royal House said in a statement on August. 7. The confirmation of Christian and Isabella's new educational pursuits come months after the royal family removed Christian from his school after the allegations surfaced. We are deeply shaken by the reports that have come out about Herlof's home recently, Frederick and Mary said in a statement in June. We have also made it clear that, as parents of a child at this school, we expect that this school will do what it must do to rectify the unacceptable conditions. The statement continued, the information in the just-released preliminary decision from the National Agency for Education and Quality directs a particularly harsh critique from a state authority against Herlof's home and places demands on the school at several levels, not least the leadership level. Frederick and Mary, who are also parents of 11-year-old twins Vincent and Josephine, added, It has been a difficult process for us as a family, but, based on the overall picture and our special position as Crown Prince couple, we have chosen that Prince Christian will stop at Herlof's home and that Princess Isabella will not start in ninth class at this school after the summer holiday. The Herlofs Home School later announced they will be launching an independent investigation into the claims. E. News reached out to the school for comment at the time and did not hear back. With thoughts about the many students who will continue at Herlof's home, the royal family said in their June statement, it is our hope that the school now gets more peace to ensure the necessary changes and succeeds in creating a culture in which all thrive and feel safe.